Hi everyone, in this software tutorial, I will show you how to create this awesome looping gradient animation. So let's get started. Let's create a new composition. I will call this placeholder. This will be our placeholder for the text or logo. Uh, I will give full HD 24 frames per second and 6 second duration. Let's give it half resolution and give it black color. Hit OK. Now go to toolbar and select the text tool. I will add the text but you can put any logo if you want. I will show it later. Now let's type anything you want. I will go with gradient. Now press Ctrl Alt Home on your keyboard. It will center the anchor point. Now go to Windows Align. Let's run it to the middle. Make sure it's a, a white color. Now create a new composition. This will be our gradient map. Same setting like before. Hit OK. Let's drag it here. Now go to toolbar and select this ellipse tool. We don't need any fill. And for the color, I will provide you a awesome site. You can check it in the description. You can choose any color palette you want. I'm going with this uh, vibrant color. So select the color you want to uh, choose, click and it will copy the hex code. Now go to After Effects and you can Ctrl V to paste it. Make sure you uh, press the shift on your keyboard. It will keep the ellipse proportion. Now we need to reset the anchor point again. So press Ctrl Alt Home on your keyboard. I will call this ellipse one let's close this up now press p on your keyboard we need to add an expression to loop this seamlessly you can also check the expression in the description just copy and paste it i will copy this and hold alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon it will open the expression property now control v to paste it now for the uh, loop time give it uh, your comb duration in this case six seconds so let's give it six you can play with uh, frequency and amplitude basically uh, play with these two values you can uh, increase the speed of the vehicle for this tutorial sake i will give sudden movement like this okay pretty cool now we need to add uh, more color and fill this background i will pass forward these steps ctrl d choose different color and ctrl v to paste it Now I will duplicate until I fill the background like this. Just Ctrl D to duplicate and just place it randomly like this. Okay, if you see uh, black colors, we can add a background, right click, new, solid, and this will be white color. Let's rename this as a PG for the background. Okay, perfect. As you can see, you can also tweak the position. After you satisfied with the 
background now create a new adjustment layer let's bring it up i will name this blur now go to windows effect and preset and search for gaussian blur and set the blurriness to 400 and make sure you tick the repeat edge pixel as you can see we have a nice looping gradient background now let's create a new comp this will be our final comp i will call this composite same setting as previous hit ok let's drag it here now drag and drop this gradient map here and also the placeholder now duplicate the gradient map you can press ctrl d to duplicate now go to track mat and set the track mat to luma mat as you can see we don't see anything that's because it's the same as the background we need to offset this layer now we have a nice animation like that now we need to loop this so right click time enable time remap now you can drag this here but as you can see after that it disappear now let's add a loop out expression hold alt on the keyboard and create this stopwatch icon i will type loop out expression as you can see we have a little glitch here glitch here we can fix it easily so go to this keyframe and go one frame forward create a new keyframe and delete that old keyframe we don't need that as you can see it's fixed and basically that's the effect you guys can go placeholder comp and drag anything you want make sure it's a white in this case it's not white as you can see it's black you can add fill effect search for fill I will give it white color you can increase the scale you can also uh, animate this let's give it subtle, subtle movement scale movement create a new keyframe press s on your keyboard to bring scale properties now let's create a new keyframe and drag it down go to six second ctrl c ctrl v to copy the keyframe now Select the keyframe, press F9 to ECS. Now go to graph editor, right click, make sure you are in the value graph. I will give it a little subtle movement like that. Just like that. Now, if we go to composite layer, as you can see, it's super nice. You guys can play with different gradient colors if you want and yeah if you guys like it uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel and make sure you hit that like button and yeah i wish you guys in the next tutorial have a great day